Vacation is on everyone's mind as the summer housing season heats up. But is a second home or a summer rental right for you? Well, no matter where you live, a few key strategies can help you land a getaway for less. Meaning a summer vacation home isn't as out of reach as you may think. If you're not looking to buy a vacation home, a summer rental is the budget solution. With a national nightly rental rate of 225 bucks per night, or just under $1,600 per week for a family of four. That's roughly $300 less than a family might spend in June for a three-star hotel in Vegas. And you get all of this for that entire week. Your own pool, individual bedrooms, and a full-size kitchen too. That's not bad. So we tapped Jack Pearson, a Hamptons realtor, Hi, for a tour of this premium rental property. Spacious, big closet. You know, ensuite, of course. And he showed us that with a few sacrifices, you can save some serious cash. Having less costs less. There's a huge difference from being on the ocean, which is probably 10 times the price of a house that's, you know, further interior with a pool. Sticking to two bedrooms will save you the most money. Each room after that could tack on another 10% per room. Also, something that's not so updated. So Lauren, this is an example of a bargain house because it's not quite as updated as where we were. This is what I'm talking about in terms of a kitchen that's less renovated. Less renovated, yes. meaning a little bit of marble but a lot more formica. Exactly. <laughs> this is an example too of how you can really score a great deal if you wait until the last minute. Yes, because uh, this house hasn't rented yet and the price was just reduced. Probably you could save you know, 10 to 15%. Now for those in the market to buy a vacation home, there's good news for you too. You don't have to be a millionaire to score one. The typical investment home buyer in 2012 had a median age of 45 and earned just under $86,000. And about half of them got a mortgage to help with financing. For these folks, rental income was their motivation. Generally a rule of thumb is if you can make 10% of what you pay for the house in a year, that generally will cover at least the majority of your expenses. And that's what a smart buyer would look for. Absolutely. In Florida, the median sales price for existing homes is under $140,000. In Hilton Head Island in South Carolina, oceanfront property has fallen 23 to 44 percent. In Palm Springs, California, the Hamptons of the West, there's luxury two-bedroom condos that go for 235 grand. In the East, vacation properties near Cape May, New Jersey, one of the most searched vacation zip codes in the country, the median vacation home price starts at just $275,000. In fact, 78% of second home purchasers say it's a good time to buy, compared with 68% of primary residence buyers, indicating the second home set may be first in sensing the market comeback. And we want to hear from you. Connect with us on Twitter at Yahoo Finance using the hashtag Destination Home. For Yahoo Finance, I'm Lauren Lister.